other things we take for granted. Nature. See, among all the things that God created, animals, plants, and human beings, do you know that the most helpless, yes, are human beings? Listen to me. The most helpless and vulnerable are human beings. Bees. Bee. You know bee, the one that produces honey. Honey bee. If bees die right now, all the bees in this world die. Give human beings about four or five years. All of us will go out of extinction. But if all of us die, B will live. Or you add all the other insects and birds, even the worms, the ants. Those things existed for millions of years before we came home. And if those things cease to exist now, one year is even too much. Every human being on the planet Earth will die, but those things will continue to exist. Three started existing before you. They can do without you. You can't do without them. In Genesis, God created those things first before us. That is Bible of telling you, letting you know. So, what am I saying? God created those things and put them at our service. It was not fasting and prayer. It was not so It was not tight. That gave you the essential things that you need to live. So that nobody will think it because of your piety. That's why I don't, I suspect any trending religion or spirituality that makes it look like you have to do something for God before you get something. God has already given you everything you need to get. Anything you give to God, whether it's your tithe or your seed, it must come from this concept of gratitude. Religious people do not know that the bee is more important than you as far as biological life is concerned. And they can live without you. If God removes us human beings from this earth, it will continue. All these are houses, one day they will turn to vegetation. You will see more trees. You even see more animals. If we cease to live now, all those snakes we will pursue, go bush. All of them will come back. But remove all those things. Man will not survive. Yet, God put them at our service. Psalm number eight. He said, when I look at the heavens, the stars, the sun, the moon you have created, he said, what is man that you care for him. Much so man that you keep him in mind. In other words, Lord, when I consider the grandeur of this other creation, when I consider the fact that they can exist without us, but we can't exist without them, when I consider the fact that these things were already there long, long, long before you even brought us, but yet from experience, your attention, your care is on us. So what is man? What is so special about us? But no, you and I don't see that. You think miracle is when you go to crusade somewhere and people gather. And one woman, I was frying her car and the oil go, went up and came down. It didn't touch me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why many people don't give thanks to God until something dramatic happens. Not knowing that the reason to give thanks to God has already overwhelmed Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.